Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well yesterday we put this sort of secondary menu up here and added uh, our category pages. Really easy to do. We styled it, customized it a little bit by uh, centralizing the menu here. Now a question that I've been asked, well actually two questions that come up quite often is A how do you add a logo to the secondary menu and B how do you drop the secondary menu below the primary menu so it would end up looking a bit like this we've got our, our primary menu here and our secondary menu below there well the second question kind of answers the first question you can add a logo to your secondary menu just using a bit of custom CSS and custom links and what have you but it's quite a lot of work the easiest thing to do is just flip it and have have your primary menu up there with the logo already in place and have your other one down here with your links on it so that's kind of what we're going to do today we're going to be writing a bit of custom CSS for this don't let that put you off though any code I write today I'll put below this video and you're welcome to use it if you want to so let's get started Today for this I'm going to go to the theme customizer. To get to the theme customizer you want to go to your dashboard, appearance and then customize and that will bring you to this page. Now I'm using Google Chrome here with the fabulous uh, Chrome Inspector tools and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my secondary nav up there, the top one, the pink one and inspect. So when we hover over the top header it highlights the whole lot. And at the moment, I left clicked on it, bring this up to the top, position fixed, top zero, right zero, left zero. Okay, so we don't want it at the top. We want it below this menu. So I think that was 100. So let's give it minus 100 and probably 30 and see what that does. Let's put this here, top. So I'm going to write top. And we'll say 130 pixels. See where that takes it. That's almost there, actually. As you can see, it's dropped from the top and it's gone under our main one here. I think I need a little bit more. So I'm highlighting that and I'm rolling up with my mouse. There we go, there's the top of the page right there. So I need to just align it with the bottom right there. So it's going to be 146 pretty much. So let's put that there. So we know this is the top header. So I'm going to copy this bit of, in fact, I'll, co I'll copy this whole thing. I'm going to go close this down a second we'll have to change this a little bit in a moment I'll give it a title forward slash star star forward slash this way the browser doesn't read this particular part as code and it makes it easier to find stuff and I'm gonna say flip menu okay and let's paste that bit of code we copied in there and I need to change this to top menu. I'm pretty sure it was top menu, so it's hashtag top menu. Let's just check that. Because if you put it code in wrong, top header is what I want it. If you put the code in wrong, it will not work. So that should be top header, not top menu, top header. In fact, I can double click on this. And just copy it if you want to as another way of doing it and because it's an id not a class that's why it has a hashtag in front of it and not a dot for a class okay top header top 146 okay so let's publish that so that is now permanently in place there now we need to move this up a bit there's a bit of a gap on the top there or too much header so let's select this one I just right click there and let's have a look here this is main header 
okay and it's got a top 30 pixels probably want that to be zero I imagine let's put zero pixels there yep which means we have to pull this menu up by a 32 pixels as well so let's get this main header and again it's an ID so double left click and I can copy it and drop down below here and it's an ID so you put a hashtag then the name and open and close some curly brackets in between I want to say top zero I believe like we put over there top colon zero we can probably leave it just like that but I'm gonna put picks in anyway all right so I now need to take 32 off of there which would be 114 I think if my maths is good okay let's publish that now now let's refresh and we may have to force these okay it's gone back to static so we've got to force these a little bit so I'll just close that inspector open our CSS again what we need to do is put important after these to make them override the default style so it's it's exclamation important as you can see that's jumped down there I'll copy that and do the same thing for the one below zero bits or zero important now that looks just right to me you may find when you look in a let's publish these changes and we'll look at a regular page while we're in the dashboard section like this one and it may look a little strange purely because of this dark dashboard here so let's just refresh this page and we should have our secondary down below now there we go that's what I was talking about the div store is just slightly up underneath this dark bar here and our menu right there's got a gap of 32 picks which funnily enough is exactly the height of there but don't worry about that that's just purely the way it is when we're in the dashboard here it adds 32 picks to it purely for that if we copy this link and open it in a incognito tab you'll see that it displays absolutely correctly as you can see on a normal page how a visitor would see it it's absolutely fine so just bear that in mind if it looks a bit weird on your dashboard page it's because of that so we've flipped our primary and secondary nav bars there and that looks pretty good to me you've got your logo up the top now and you've still got customizable menus on both let's just make sure it's going to work uh, responsively on mobile and tablet so I'll hit F12 again I've got the Chrome inspector here let's just pull this down a little bit hit the responsive toggle here okay that's an iPad that's going to be absolutely fine and let's have a look at an iPhone let's just open the menu I've got two lots of calorie pages because I've got one as a sub of another one so they wouldn't be there there's our a regular menu at the bottom there that's the reason we've got duplicates there but that look works absolutely fine like I say our logo is at the top now both menus are working perfectly and it displays responsively fantastic so there you have it there is how to flip your primary and secondary nav bars using the fantastic Divi theme. If you want to take Divi for a drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.